lost wheels. Um, so changed that, you know, I can go out there and play any position, um, showing my versatility, showing my hands, showing my feet, my quickness, in and out of breaks. Um, I felt smooth, felt good, just felt confident and relaxed. I just wanted to show that, you know, I could perform in the light zone. What's this process been like for you? Has it been, uh, I mean, obviously it's like the most important job interview that you've had so far. Mm -hmm. What, what, ha how has this process gone for you? It's been awesome. Um, I dreamed about being in yeah. this position, um, being, you know, at Pro Day. Uh, I remember last year I was like, you know, I'm going to be here one day. And I uh, dreamed about being at the combine, this process, and NFL was talking about how good of a player I am. It's, it's, I'm very thankful, and this is very humbling, and, and I'm excited for what's next for sure. Did you get a chance to uh, meet with uh, some NFL teams? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And who? Uh, anybody really seem like they're very interested in you? Um, it's a lot of teams. So, yeah. uh, I think we're supposed to keep that confidence. Yeah, so, sure. Um, no, not too much further on that one. Okay, well, you had a really good combine. What was that whole process like for you, and was there any part of it that was particularly challenging for you? You dreamed about going to the combine, but then you get there, you don't realize how stressed, and you start to grow gray hairs, and it's it's definitely like mind-boggling to to know that you mess up, or you, you miss time before the. Uh, just, just the smallest things, man. And you know that it can, it can exploit you in a good way or a bad way. Um, I felt like again, I was relaxed. I, I kept my poise and I performed well when the lights were on, for sure. What were some of those conversations like with teams? Did you enjoy those? Have any weird questions? Oh yeah, um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed talking to every team, man. And, uh, just to even be in the same room as you know these head coaches and general managers and. I look at them as celebrities and actually being there, talking to them guys and, you know, them telling me, you know, how they see me in their system and what got, what, I, what can I do for their team, um, whether that's, you know, at nickel or at safety, um, blitzing and all these different things that they, they talk about, my ability. Um, it's, it's definitely a blessing, for sure. It seems like, uh, you know, you and Isaiah have been together for such a long time. Is it nice? seeing him again today and kind of working with him and how do you think he's going to do at the next level? Uh, Isaiah is a special, special specimen of a human being. He is, he is literally built in a, in a lab. <laughs> um, tall, long, fast, quick, everything you want in a football player, he has it. And, you know, we talk on the phone all the time. We FaceTime and we always stay connected, uh, no matter how far we are. He was in Cali and I was in Florida. That's completely different. Yeah. And um, But we always stay connected. That's my brother. Um, and this process, reuniting with him was awesome. Um, I love him and, and, you know, God's going to bless him. And he deserves everything. He deserves absolutely everything that came his way and that's going to come his way. Um, he should easily be a top five pick, in my opinion. And he, in my opinion, is the best defensive player in this draft. And, Whoever's going to get him is going to get a phenomenal, game-changing program, culture-changing player. What was your thought process on being limited today? And uh, was it difficult to, to not do a lot of the stuff that some of your teammates were doing? Um, no, it was, it was, you know, um, supportive for me to, to be there for my teammates and cheer them on. Um, the drills that, that everybody was doing today, uh, I, I decided to let my NFL combine uh, be the numbers to, to stick out. I didn't want to, um, you know, do anything to jeopardize the opportunity for me not to be drafted from a team because of an injury or, you know, that's that's the, I'm I'm a durable guy. Um, I feel like I played 59 games, never was hurt, and I'm trying to stay that way. And I feel like, you know, just going out there show that I can do drills. Um, I could have I, I could have set up, but I, I didn't want. I'm not that type of guy. I didn't want to be that guy, and um, I know that I had to be there to support my teammates, but more importantly, do, do what I got to do, showcase my, my ability and what I can do on that field. Kayvon, do you have any future um, interviews or workouts that you expect to be affected by coronavirus? Um, I already has been already have been talking to teams about, you know, rearranging stuff like that, but um, a lot you know, it's out of my control, and you know, whatever comes forward is just gonna come. If can't be with a team, 
Well, his tape speaks for itself. Um, I feel like my character speaks through, you know, my play. Uh, my personality speaks through my play. Um, you're going to get a passionate guy, a guy that loves the game, a guy that that do anything to, to play this game, play football, and a guy that's going to lead, a guy that's going to do the right things on and off the field. When you say rearrange, you mean like traveling and airplanes yeah. and that kind mm -hmm. of stuff? Okay. Come on, if Buffalo says, hey, we want you to come up and work out, do you think twice at all about getting on a plane and going somewhere? Because of my, what we're all dealing with now. No, I don't, I'm not. I live by faith. Yeah. Um, if, if God is, you know, with me at all times like he is, no matter where I go, I'm going to protect him. What was your reaction last night watching the NBA, the, the Rudy Gobert situation, um, the NBA, the suspension, that kind of stuff? Um... It's crazy. Uh, blew up, blew up all over my phone. I'm actually going home today on a flight. So, you know, just staying, staying out the way.